Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're asking what is GPS? In this episode specifically, we're going to ask you the question specifically, what is GPS and a GPS? Well, GPS stands for Global Positioning System. It's a network of satellites that was put up by the U.S. military in order to enable tracking of military personnel and devices while they were on the ground. So how it works is you have a GPS device on the ground, it looks up at the sky to see which of the GPS satellites that were put up there it can spot. Now knowing where those are supposed to be in the sky, the GPS device then triangulates where it is on the ground by sensing the signal and location that it's sensing of each of these satellites. Now depending on the clarity of the signal that the GPS device receives from the satellites up in the sky, it can locate you on the earth to within position of inches. Now, if you have things around like Concrete Canyon, for example, like when you're driving downtown inside uh, tall, tall buildings, or if you're inside and you don't have a clear view of the sky, the GPS is a bit less effective because of that. That's why it's always good when you're using a GPS device to be out in the open in your car or something like that and have an antenna that can actually see the sky fairly well. Now, while the GPS started out as military technology, it was made available later on to both commercial and consumer applications. So that's why we have GPS devices now available to put into our car, is because the military has made it uh, acceptable for us to actually use this and understand how it works. Now, this has allowed a number of different applications. First of all, of course, the driving around in your car and tracking where you are and finding out how to get to your next location. But it's also used in other things like tracking of commercial fleets, so you can know where the trucks are in your commercial fleet at any one time and know how long they they are away from making a delivery. Now, if you're an athlete in training, you can strap a device to your arm that will track the satellites and actually allow you to see how fast you're going at any one time, how fast you can complete a course, measure where you've gone when you've uh, done your run, and it'll actually allow you to track things over time as well. So GPS has a number of different applications, both consumer and commercial. One more recent application for GPS is in location-based services. So a lot of cell phones now have GPS built onto them, and not only does that help you track where you are if you're using a map application, but it also allows you to see what other businesses are in the neighborhood using the maps. When you have a location-based service enabled phone, it can tell you, okay, you're right near this restaurant and there's a coupon available to you if you have an application that does such a thing. Or it'll allow you to check in in various locations and see where your friends are in relation to you. So things like Foursquare or things like Gowalla or even the new Facebook Places uses the GPS built into your phone to actually track where you are and check in. Now in addition to GPS, which makes use of the satellites in the sky, there's also something called assisted GPS, which makes use of terrestrial networks. So things like cell phone networks, Wi-Fi networks, other things that can help you locate where you are. So in addition to having GPS in some devices, you can have a GPS or assisted GPS that will help you either use it when you can't see the sky and help you locate yourself that way, or use it in addition to the uh, satellite-based GPS in order to make it even more precise. We're going to talk more about GPS hardware and some of the smartphone apps that you can get to use GPS in the upcoming episodes. Don't forget to check those out at butterscotch.com. For the show notes on this episode and the other parts in the series, don't forget to hit butterscotch.com.